Question number one. A rough plane is inclined to the horizontal at an angle alpha, where tan alpha is equal to three over four. A brick P of mass M is placed on the plane. The coefficient of friction between P and the plane is mu. Brick P is in equilibrium and on the point of sliding down the plane. Brick P is modeled as a particle. Using the model, find in terms of M and G, the magnitude of the normal reaction of the plane on brick P and part B show that mu is equals to three over four. So we're given that tangent of alpha is equals to three over four. Tangent is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's three, opposite over adjacent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So tangent is three over four, opposite over adjacent. Cosine alpha, so if we have a right angle triangle, three squared plus four squared, and square root of that will give you five. So three squared plus four squared, and square root of that will give you five. So cos alpha, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is four over five. Sine alpha, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is three over five. So if we look at the right angle triangle, we would see R is the upward force, which is at 90 degrees to the inclined plane, 90 degrees. And there is a downward force. And if we use this triangle, Mg is a hypotenuse. So cosine of this angle alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos alpha, I've colored it purple. So cosine of alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse and adjacent is what we want. So we can call that X. So it's X over hypotenuse is MG and that's equals to cos alpha. So X would be MG cos alpha. So the upward force is R and the downward force is MG cos alpha. Forces act in pair. The force pushing it up the inclined plane, the frictional force stopping it from sliding down is F is equals to mu R and forces act in pair. The force pulling it down is this one, which is, we can use this one is Mg sine alpha. That's the force which is causing it to slide down the plane. This angle is alpha. This one is alpha. This is 90. 90 minus alpha will give you that angle. It's very important because it's not moving up or down. The upward force Upward force has to be equal to downward force because it is staying, is, is staying fixed position. So the upward force is equal to the downward force. So either you say the upward force R is equal to the downward force Mg cos alpha, and you replace cos alpha, cos alpha is four over five. When you replace cos alpha with four over five, it becomes four over five mg. Or you can write it as an equation form using F equals to ma. Upward force minus downward force is equals to mass times acceleration, but it's not moving, so acceleration is zero. So R minus mg cos alpha is equal to zero. And you take mg cos alpha to the right side, it becomes R is equals to mg cos alpha, you can do it that way. So that's how you get R is equals to four over five mg. Part B, show that mu is three over four. Mu is coefficient of friction. When you resolve parallel to the plane, 
the force pulling it up, frictional force stopping it from sliding down is equal to the force trying to get it to slide down, which is due to the weight. So force trying to get it to, the force pulling it up is called F, stopping it from sliding the frictional force and the force pulling it down is called Mg sine alpha. This is it, the Mg sine alpha trying to pull it down. It's not moving, so the two force, we would say forward force is equal to backward force. But we replace F with mu R, because F is frictional force. And we want to solve for mu. So we replace F with mu R. And so mu R is equals mg sine alpha. It's times R on the right. We take times R to the left, to the right hand side. It becomes divided by R. So mu is mg times sine alpha divided by R. The sine alpha is three over five. And R is four over five mg, which we got from before. So R is four over five mg and sine alpha is three over five. So it will be mg times three over five divided by mg and take the four over five to the top is divided by four over five. The mg will cancels three over five times five over four because you flip them and change that to a times. So you end up with mu is equals to three over four. QED, quote erat demonstratum, as required to show. Brick P is now removed from the plane and a much heavier brick Q is placed on the plane. The coefficient of friction between Q and the plane is also three over four. Explain briefly why brick Q will remain at rest on the plane. The forces acting on Q will still balance as M's cancel, the masses cancel. And other possibilities, any friction, the friction will increase in the same proportion as the weight component or the force down the plane. Or the force pulling the brick down the plane increases by the same amount as the friction. Brick Q is now projected with speed 0 0.5 meters per second down a line of greater slope of the plane. Brick Q is modeled as a particle. Using the model, describe the motion of Brick Q, giving a reason for your answer. Brick Q slides down the plane with a constant speed. You must mention that word constant speed. The speed is the same because no resultant force down the plane. So there's no acceleration. 